Our top story tonight in just about a month, students are set to go back to school. Now, while the White House and Florida's governor say it's time to get your kids back to class, the president is threatening to cut funding to schools if they don't reopen. While parents face a tough decision, Today in St. John's County, the superintendent is laying out the options parents will have to choose from ahead of next school year. Justin Clark is on your side in St. Augustine tonight with the details. It's, it's, it's a scary time. Renee Answorth of St. Augustine has three daughters. One just graduated, one is in high school, and Mesa is going into the fifth grade. Unsworth, like most parents, dealt with virtual learning in the spring because of COVID-19. We survived it. <laughs> Now she and the other parents of St. John's County students have to choose from four options the district is offering for the fall. Students can either go to a brick and mortar school or choose school based distance learning. That's similar to what was done in the spring or attend virtual school or do home education, which is homeschooling. This week, the State Department of Education announced its mandate for all school districts to open brick and mortar schools at least five days a week for all students this fall. St. John's County School Superintendent Tim Forson says all four options will remain. Some tweaking may be needed, but he says the school-based distance learning must still be provided. We, want, we never want education to stop, and we have children that will have to be out for 14 days for self-isolation, or we might have children that, that in that household someone gets ill with the virus, so they're going to have to be out. So we've got to have that continuity of service. And while school districts are trying to figure out how to swing into a new school year in the middle of a pandemic, President Trump made his support known regarding opening schools in the fall. Wednesday morning, he tweeted out, may cut off funding if not open. Your thoughts? I think in, in Florida and in working with our Department of Education, they've, they've given us kind of a roadmap to ensure funding. As for Unsworth, she and her husband have not decided how their daughters will learn this school year. I don't know. It's hard to watch all the numbers. It's hard to watch the infection rate go up. It's scary to think about putting them in an environment indoors where they could potentially get someone else sick. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.